Hi everyone, um, I'm in the bathroom because the lighting in my room is rubbish and I want to keep this secret from my mum because it's about my mum's Mother's Day present. Um, you are currently looking at the play bath as I call it because we don't actually use the bath in our house because um, we all prefer showers and so the cats play in it, hence the crinkly tissue paper and grandmother stuff that's in this bag which um every time we need to actually use the bath which is mainly to bathe the dogs if they've rolled in something in the park then we have to decant everything from the bath into the bag um, and then slowly we take things out like balls and toilet roll tubes and stuff there's loads of toilet roll tubes in there they don't actually play with them i should get rid of them and um, but yeah that's what you're currently looking at and i wanted to show you to bring it back onto the subject matter i finished my felted birdie figure i showed you in i think it was my last video uh the really unfinished version which was a frame with one leg maybe i think i'd done one leg and the actual torso and um, but i finished him so that was last saturday and then on the sunday i really pulled it together i did the other legs and i think i did the tail and i started the head and then I managed to put it all together and then yesterday I put the top coat on as I call it I can't remember what it's actually called but the the what you'd seen before was made of the core wool which is a rougher wool and then you're supposed to put a, a nicer wool on top which I forget what it's called but it's like the top coat of the dog's fur basically and this is a special type of top coat because it's deliberately designed to be a curly fur which is perfect because Airedales are curly well when they're scruffy and fluffy they are when they've just been groomed they're more wavy than curly um so i felted that on yesterday and i really did felt it in quite hard because firstly i didn't want the fur to fall off and secondly he's not um supposed to look like he's nicely curly he but wasn't ever groomed to look like a show dog so I made him look like Bertie in which he's got scruffy curly fur and not neat curls so I deliberately felted it in quite hard um, there are several things that I would like to improve and um, I definitely ha have to learn how to do the legs properly um, I wish I'd have done the tail differently because the way I did it made it look really fat and his tail wasn't like that. It should be half of the diameter it actually is uh, or half the circumference or whatever. Basically it should be thinner and I know how to do that now. Um, basically I was... That's mum calling me about dinner. Um... I'm making her roast dinner because it's Mother's Day. Um, I was doing the, uh, well, one sort of um, bit at a time, whereas if I were to wrap it all quite tightly and then felt it afterwards, I'd be able to wrap it quite uh, a lot tighter and then be able to do the tail a lot thinner. So that's a learning curve for next time. Um, I really want to learn how to do the paws properly because as you can see they are quite chunky paws look at that one that's a chunky paw but they don't have the same definition as a real dog's paw um, and then also um, I bought some beads at the craft shop for eyes but they're too small so I'm going to buy some proper eyes and um, to try to make him look like an actual dog and not like a caricature of a dog and um, my brother made the nose and that looks really good he told me to hot glue gun it on but i was really worried that it wasn't going to work and also my hot glue gun is not heating up as quickly as i thought it would and i think it may not be working properly so um i gorilla glued that on the green gel gorilla glue which i like 
the tongue poking out is because this is um I've done basically um, older Bertie, um, Bert had an operation on his jaw, he had a growth on his jaw, uh, on his um, gum that could turn cancerous, um, I can't remember if it was cancerous or if it had the potential to turn cancerous, they had to remove it, um, basically they had to remove um about a quarter of his lower jaw so when he was tired his tongue used to fall out of his mouth which was really cute so that's what I've done and um, I'm not happy with the ears but they were really difficult and it is my first time of making anything with needle felting so I've got to remember that um Airedale ears are in a very particular position they face forwards obviously they can move around but they tend to face forwards so they keep on um, shifting out of position um, so I'm gonna practice with ears one day um I I think it'd be really cute to put paw pads on the bottom of his paws but obviously that will be something that when I'm advanced in skill I made him a collar um, and um, yeah overall I'm, I'm pleased with it so I'm gonna go and wrap him and give him to my mum for Mother's Day. So I'm hoping to make some more needle felt animals soon and I'll show you them. Thanks for watching. Bye!